Hi guys, I just completed another 10k run, uh, approximately 10k, but unfortunately my um, app stopped working uh, around about uh, halfway through due to I was streaming some stuff, which is rather annoying, I know, um, but yeah, I, uh, I did it this evening in 23 degrees heat without any water. Um, I think it was 10k, it was basically the same route as last time but with a bit of variation because my app stopped working I um, went, I added a bit on so it might be either slightly under 10k or slightly over I don't know. Um, uh, this morning obviously I did my 50 press ups, push ups, whatever they're called um, 10 chin ups, 10 pull ups and then I did 10 chin ups, 10 pull ups this afternoon as well I uh, did my eight and a half mile walk hike with an elevation of um, 800 foot this afternoon and I bumped into a guy in his early to mid 50s who was also walking he just happened to be an ex-professional bodybuilder and fitness um, fanatic or expert pro, semi-pro um, and he gave me some advice about um, keeping fit, building muscle and staying off uh, the bad stuff like obviously um, you know um, supplements and uh, steroids and stuff like that staying away from them um, yeah so did uh, did that this, this um, just now the 10k really nice guy I bumped into had the same name as me as well Chris um, kind of ironic really gave him yeah it was, it was good to get some advice off somebody who'd been doing it for 30 years um, kind of coincidence that I just bumped into him. Uh, what else? Yeah, earlier on this week I ran uh, eight and a half miles with a, which incorporated an 800, 800 foot elevation at least. I ran right to the top of the Shevin from my house without any breaks or pauses apart from when I got to the top. It was only 30 seconds to speak to a guy. I made a video about it a few days ago. And uh, basically making this video to say that I was planning on uh, running for charity, doing a 10k run for charity, and I'm not going to do that now, unfortunately, because I think it'll just be too easy. Um, so I'm going to do the Great North Run, which is 13 miles, and it's a half marathon, and I'm going to do that for a charity. It's only £25 to register, and it's not until um, September this year, so I've got plenty of time. I think, um, without being too cocky, I think I could actually go and do it tomorrow morning. Um, because at the moment I'm doing a lot of fitness. I'm probably burning anywhere between two and 4,000 calories a day. Um, and I'm watching what I'm eating um, very, very carefully. Uh, yeah, I'm, tr I'm uh, still vegetarian. I haven't had any meat for um, about three months now, apart from uh, one time I got some reduced, like I think they were pork or chicken bites that were ready to eat out of a packet. They were like 20 pence. Uh, I really re actually regret eating them because after eating them I didn't feel uh, good about myself at all. And uh, I just feel a lot more peaceful and calm. And you know that um, kind of um, meme or rumor that eating meat makes you aggressive? Well, I think it does some people. And I, and I honestly uh, do think and believe that um, now that I'm not eating meat, I, I don't feel any uh, like tetchiness or aggression or short temperedness or anything not that I particularly did before but uh, yeah it's just better not to eat meat um, yeah getting plenty of protein trying to cut down on the carbs so yeah what I've got left to do today is um, no, another um, 10 pull ups 10 chin ups and 50 or more sometimes I can squeeze 60 um, push ups or press ups I can do about 35 definitely in a row fast that are proper and then I can squeeze out sometimes uh, 45 but I usually have to extend and lock my arms just to take a breather for a couple of seconds because you get to the point where when you're dipping down you're feeling weak as if you, you're going to face plant the floor so you're really pushing yourself and uh, yeah I don't know what the next steps are really um, I don't think I'm going to really get into bulk bodybuilding because I'm already growing as it is like my arms here are they've never been that that wide I put I can put my because obviously you know your own body over the years I put my hand around my arms and they've never been that size and it's not fat 
and it's not water retention uh, so yeah it's just all muscle um, the last place to go as well which the guy that I met today the um, ex semi professional bodybuilder Chris and he was in his 50s he said the last place to lose it is off first off your sides they call them love handles so basically your hips and then your belly it's the first place to to come when you're um, putting on weight and it's the first way to go when you're um, losing weight and I've still got that little bit on the belly especially when I um, sort of sit sit down on the bed and hunch forward there's still that bit there and then if I didn't have that because I've been uh, doing uh, stomach exercises and obviously with the with the pull-ups and chin-ups if you keep your your, your um, legs rigid and point your toes keep them uh, your, your legs parallel you're working all your abdominal muscles I reckon if I lost that little bit which is really really difficult I could get them all to show and then that will be six pack time basically um, so I'm gonna achieve that uh, but I can't lose any more I can't diet anymore at the moment because I'm doing so much exercise so I'm in a bit of a weird place at the moment so I think I might take a break for a couple of weeks and experiment on dieting and, and take a break from intensive exercise just cut down a lot but do more often and then diet and then see if I can get them to show but I might, I might just get a little bit bigger first um, we'll see how it goes um, so yeah what I'm gonna do in September is a half marathon and then maybe later on in my life within a year or two I'll do a full marathon we'll see um, but it'll be great north run 13 miles and I'll put a video out on my um, on my channel this channel and what I'll do is I'll link my Facebook account for donations whichever charity that I have um, decided to do it and it won't be a scam it will it'll be all legit you can check it out and I can even put screenshots of my registration and photographs of my registration and everything if it's done through the Facebook page for like for instance NSPCC um, it's all legit and you can just check it out anyway so if anybody wanted to make a donation which would totally be nothing to do with me but um, it would be for the cause um, then you know you're quite welcome to do that but yeah that's uh, I'm feeling pretty good now I'm getting quite a lot of attention from people especially female people uh, not to uh, blow my own trumpet but um, it's just nice you know and it's nice to to get out there in the sunshine and feel good about yourself and know that you are actually um, achieving something and feeling healthy and looking good um, and it's for a reason as well because you know if I can run and do this then I can do it for charity can't I and I can do 13 miles I know I can it's like the other day when I ran to the shop, top of the Chevin I told myself before I did it I know I can do this not in a cheesy kind of self-motivational way I just said quietly to myself I know I can do it and I did it so yeah um, just a quick reminder as well last time I weighed myself I was 73 kilos I don't know what I am now but um, at the start of this year I reckon I was probably more like 85 kilos possibly closer to 90 but it, I'd got that um, unconfident or I'd, I'd lost so much confidence with my weight and stuff I'd stopped weighing myself probably about two or three years ago but yeah feeling good anyway and uh, yeah looking great uh, it's, you know it's, as good as I can do for my age and yeah I hope this uh, has been inspirational to somebody who wants to run for charity or wants to lose weight or wants to really get into fitness and it really helps honestly like if I could say to somebody who has any kind of uh, issues or problems or self-confidence or weight issues or anything at all you know without being too specific being general I would say one thing and it's like fitness fitness is the answer it really is. Peace.